Hey everyone! So I am starting this home vlog right now even though I look like this. I just finished my workout not too long ago, um, but I figured I have a lot of energy. I think it's probably because of the workout, but sometimes I feel like this is the best time for me to start vlogging because I'm like, I'm ready to do it. I've got a lot of energy and you know, it's great. But sometimes I put it off because I'm like, well, I'm gonna take my shower. I wanna get ready. I wanna get some things done first. And then by that time I'm exhausted. So I figured today I'm just gonna do it, turn on the camera because also I'm home alone today because Steve is away on work travel right now and Caleb's at school. Like I said, I just finished my workout. I'm eating my lunch right now. I've been doing some laundry. So I figured you can join me. Okay, real quick, yeah, oh, okay. And she has got the zoomies right now. But as you can see, I am not home alone, actually. I have to take that back. Skylar is here with me, and she keeps me busy all day long, or keeps me company, I should say, because she is my little shadow. I can't even begin to tell you. She follows me around absolutely everywhere. I'm actually surprised, because I'm kind of one of those people that I'm like up and down the stairs, just like constantly throughout the day. She doesn't tire out, she just keeps She's right at my ankles. But as you can see, I am finishing up my lunch. This is one of my factors. It's pretty good, not terrible. But yeah, so I am just hanging out, getting some stuff done here. Um, unfortunately, Steve is not gonna be in this video because I want this video to drop on Thursday and that's when he gets home. So yeah, he, he's not gonna make it. But I'd rather do this because the alternative was just having no video this week and like we, we would vlog this weekend, but I don't wanna do that. Plus, there are some things I wanna catch you guys up on. So while we're on the topic of Skylar, I'll let you know what we're going through right now. Um, well, she's been very hungry, as you can see, and she decided last night to take a bite of some of my Harry Potter books. Yeah, she's definitely at that point where she is just chewing up everything. She's getting into everything. Um, when we leave the house, we have to like go around, all three of us, we all do this all together. We go around and we make sure that everything's picked up, everything's put away, and like when it comes to stuff that's on the counter, we try to push it in as much as we can, because she has no problem getting up on the counters and trying to, you know, just help herself to whatever she can find. And we totally did that last night. We went to dinner, but I guess it wasn't good enough because she actually climbed on the whole kitchen table and like got my, like I had these really nice, um, salt and pepper shakers. These were a wedding present too, by the way. And she just decimated this thing. She got like a plastic Starbucks cup. Whenever I make my coffee, I use one of those things. She just destroyed that thing. She got a picture frame that had been on our coffee table. I guess you could say we were asking for that, but Steve went in the backyard. He found that outside all chewed up but we have definitely found that it's not just stuff on the counters. But if you've noticed in our previous home vlogs, we have this low bookshelf here that I've got some of my collections on. But yeah, she just decided to help herself to my Harry Potter books. I think this one's, she like tore this one up. I don't know if the other ones are as bad, but a little frustrating nonetheless, right? Here's the photo it was. It's a picture of me and Steve when Caleb was really, really little. He was probably only about uh, maybe like seven months in this picture. We decided to do family photos in New York and I, I just thought it was so pretty. So one of my favorite pictures, but we had this really nice frame and then yeah, Steve found it in the backyard all chewed up in the back. So um, yeah. And then if you saw the last video, Caleb wanted me to do his hair one morning. So I brought my hair product down. It was this thing. She got this. I don't know if you can see. It's all chewed up and stuff, but she even got the top off and she was like eating this stuff. It's like nothing is off limits for her. She is just into everything. All right, so I'm all dressed and ready to go. I feel a lot better. I didn't do my hair because you know, Skylar, my hair product. Um, but yeah, I'm all ready to go. I have to run to Target because I gotta go get laundry detergent and a whole laundry list of stuff. So one of the things I wanted to share with you, if you haven't noticed, I'm really getting myself ready and the house ready because we're going out of town this weekend. We are going to Hollywood. And if you've been a part of our channel for a while, you know we absolutely love going for like a quick little weekend excursion to Hollywood. We like to stay in the old timey, like, you know, boutique hotels. Um, we are staying at the Sunset Tower Hotel this time. And I didn't realize it until the other night when I was looking at our channel. We've never vlogged that. That's my absolute favorite place to stay when we do these Hollywood weekends. And we've never vlogged it. We've done like the Hollywood Roosevelt before, but never the sunset. So I'm very eager to vlog that, bring you guys along with that and share our adventures. But we're also doing something else because we figured while we're in Hollywood, we're gonna go check out Universal Studios. So they have the Super Nintendo world already out and open out there. And Caleb, you know, he's obsessed with Nintendo. Um, last year's birthday party was Nintendo themed. 
From time to time we get comments from you guys asking like, what is it that Car Caleb's carrying around all the time? It's his Nintendo Switch. That thing goes absolutely everywhere with us. So we knew he was gonna have a blast checking this place out. He's seen the videos on YouTube, so he's very excited about it, but yeah. More than likely, by the time you are watching this, he's already done with school. Like, the kindergarten graduation has already happened. We are in summer mode. So, yeah, we're wasting no time. We're going out uh, Friday morning. It's going to be a blast. It is almost time to go pick up Caleb from school, so I'm gonna make myself a little coffee drink, and I'm gonna share it with you because I've gotten some feedback that you guys like the coffee-making parts of these vlogs. Okay, so I have debated as to whether or not I wanna share this with you, but I, I, we're waiting for the espresso machine to warm up, so here we are. I have actually tried to vlog this way a couple times. And if you, you, don't, you guys don't know, but you're on a tripod right now and I have the camera all set up. This is like, and I'm leaning up against the cabinet. This is like really comfortable for me. And I can just kind of like, I feel like this is a really great, it's like my confessional, I guess you could say. And so I start the camera and I start talking and I'm talking, and I'm talking. Blah, 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 blah. And before I know it, you guys, I'm not kidding you. I turned the camera off and I had a pep in my step. I felt so good. I was like, oh, that was awesome. That was great. This is gonna be a great video, right? I am not kidding. You know how when you have those moments where it's just like, you're, you're talking with a friend and you finally get your stuff out, right? You vent, you get things off your chest. That's what this felt like. It was like so cathartic. It was like, it was like I was having a therapy session with my vlogging camera, but I just was on cloud nine. So the next day I take the camera and I import the footage onto my computer so I can take a look at it. First of all, I look, I'm like, oh my God, it's 20 minutes. Yeah, that's gonna have to be edited down. So I start looking at the footage. I was embarrassed for myself. The stuff I was talking about, like like I said, I, I my brain fell out and I was just off in La La Land, ex like telling you guys all these stories. I was relating this story when I went for a job interview and the lady was so mean, but I'm not kidding you. It was 20 minutes and I'm like, who do I think I am? Like, this has gotta be so boring for everyone. But I was like, oh my goodness, this footage will never see the light of day. And I trashed it, I got rid of it, no way. And so um, <clears throat> I took a break and then like three days later, I'm like, okay, well, I gotta get a video. I got, We gotta do something. So I put the camera back on and same thing. I go on talking and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And I turn the camera off, I felt great. I imported the footage. I was like, oh my gosh, 20 minutes. And it was just like, uh, that one I was talking about, <laughs> I was talking about my days in high school and like what a loser I was. But um, again, I was like, I am not putting this out. Oh my goodness. So I apologize if sometimes these videos where it's just me and the camera, if they get a little boring or if you guys are like, I, I know I talk fast, I will like, look at the video like a week later. I'm like, I wanna see what the video looks like through a fresh set of eyes. And I'm up here going like <laughs> It is cringeworthy. So I apologize about that. Anyways, let's make a coffee drink. Okay, so today we are gonna make a mocha and I like to use this. This is Monin, La Sauce de Monin, uh, dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit, like that much, that's pretty good. When I make a mocha, I like just a little bit of chocolate. I, I definitely want more of that coffee flavor in my mocha. I think that is like the proper way to do it. I'm gonna grind my beans. I'm gonna pull two shots of espresso for this. And here's the trick, you want everything ready. So I've got uh, the measuring cup. This is what I'm gonna pull my espresso shots into. I've got my straw, which I'm gonna use to stir. And then over here, I've got my milk. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm making an iced mocha. But I use this uh, lactose-free 2% because it's just easier on my stomach. But so we will move this on over here and tighten that up. Pull our shots right in there. Okay, with my shots done, gonna pour that into my cup with the mocha sauce. And here, this is the secret. This is the secret to a well-built mocha. You take your straw, you could use a, uh, like, a, like a bar spoon as well, but you gotta mix it really, really well. And you gotta get that little, like that residual uh, mocha sauce that kind of clings to the, the glass. You gotta get all of that. 
And then once you got it, you then add your milk. I like to go about there and then give it just a little stir again. The reason you do that is because if you don't do that, you will have a mocha that will constantly want to separate. The mocha sauce will float to the bottom and you'll get that layer of gunk. You know, it's your mocha sauce. If you want to have it always, you know, perfectly made like this, you've got to melt and dissolve the um, mocha sauce in with your hot espresso shots before you add the milk. The other thing I do is I take a little bit of ice, not, an, not all the ice I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna put a few cubes in there and I'm gonna give this a stir, kind of like if I was making like, um, like an old fashioned, you know, something with a mixing beaker and a bar spoon and you give it a little bit of a swirl because that really drops the temperature and really makes your drink nice and cold. That seems like a pretty good stir to me, so now I will add the rest of the way up with ice. So now with all my ice added, I then top it out. You don't have to do this, but the proper mocha should have some whipped cream on top. I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry guys. There it is. Ta-da, the iced mocha. Oh yeah, that is a great mocha. I don't normally, to be quite honest, I don't usually put the whipped cream on, but we had some because I made a big breakfast for Caleb the other day. And I figured I'm making this for the camera. I'm showing you guys, might as well go big, right? In the event that you may have been wondering about the story that I was talking about, let's see if I can do it in a condensed version because you know we're making coffee drinks. It's taking me back to my um, coffee days. So when I was, I was probably like 13 years old and my parents went out of town with my sister. My sister used to play club soccer and so they would travel all the time. So my parents asked my older brother and his wife, he was married, he's still married to the same woman, to watch me. My older brother, Marty, he's like a really cool guy and he decided to take me to an R-rated movie and I thought that was like, you know, I'm 12 years old. I think I was like, yeah, I think I was like 12 years old. I thought it was like the coolest thing in the world. We went and saw The Crow with Brandon Lee. And so after the movie, he's like, hey, let's go to the coffee shop. And um, keep in mind, this is like 1992. So here in Arizona, we did not have, you know, the Starbucks situation that we have now. Back at that time, the, the, the coffee shops were very much like what you see on Friends. Like it was a place where you would actually go and order a coffee and sit there and drink it. And this place had like the couches. They had a bookcase that was just filled with books with one of those like, you know, take one, leave one kind of situations going on. And they had board games. I thought this place was so cool, right? Especially because I'm 12 years old. I'm not supposed to be drinking coffee. My mom would kill my brother if she knew that. But uh, we wound up meeting with the, the, some friends of theirs and like my brother was like, well, do you want something? And I'm like, well, yeah. And so he ordered me an iced mocha thinking, oh, it's got chocolate, you'll like it. It was, you know how you're sometimes, you have those experiences, like you have a really great burger or you have something, right? And then you're just always chasing for that flavor. That was my ice mocha. That was like the best ice mocha I'd ever had. And I have to admit, I kind of got this glass because it kind of looked like what it did back then. And so anyways, I just became enamored with this coffee shop and like the coffee shop culture at that time. It got to the point where like for my 13th birthday, my mom, my mom would always take us to lunch and she's like, I'll take you to lunch and then we can go to that coffee shop you like. And I was like, yes. Years later, I'm getting, I'm looking for a job. I'm in college and I'm like, I want to get a job at a coffee shop like the one. I wonder if it's still open. So I drive there because at this point I'm kind of moved away. I'm in a different city. I'm closer to the university. And um, it was still there, there it was. And in the window was a help wanted sign. And I was like, oh, man, like the stars are lining up, right? So I go home and I get like a resume put together and I get like dressed up and stuff. And so I go into this coffee shop. I walk in and it's like the memories flood back, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this place. This place was so cool growing up. I, I, I want to be a part of its history, right? And so I am going to do an impression of this woman because I think that's the only way you're going to get th th that this story will have, you know, that, that's the only way I can do justice to the story, to what happened. So I'm going to fall back on my acting days and present this for you. So imagine I'm in my, I'm, I'm young, I'm in my early 20s, I'm like ready to do this, I want to be, you know, I go in, I'm trying to have that good personality, right? I'm like, hi, um, I am looking for a job and I saw you had a help wanted sign in, in the window. I'm not kidding you. I'm going to do a perfect impression of what this woman said to me. 
Actually, I'm gonna put on a costume. I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm doing live theater for you guys. So this is the lady at the, at the coffee counter. Now she's probably got a rag in her, in her hand. She's like this, right? So go back, go back. I walk in, I'm a young kid, I'm eager. And I'm like, hi, uh, I'm looking for a job and I saw you had the help wanted sign in the window. This is what she did, no joke. <sighs> Have you ever worked in a coffee shop before? I literally start to shake and I'm just kind of like, oh, uh, no. But um, I'm a quick learner and I, I, I absolutely love this place. I have a history with this place. I, you know, I'm a quick learner. I, I, I can learn fast. I don't have time to train anyone. So thanks, but no thanks. And I'm standing there like, oh my God, get me out of here. I am, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I feel, I'm standing there like a dummy. And I'm just like, I could not believe, I, I've never encountered someone so incredibly rude, so dismissive. And I was just like, what just happened? I am not joking. It was exact, that was a perfect impression. Everything from like that long pause, the stare down, the, oh my, the dramatic side. She, it was lit. <sighs> I, I just wanted to just melt into the floor. And so I was just like, okay, thank you. Bye, Miss Scary Lady. I mean, right? So, so anyways, I wound up leaving with my tail between my legs and um, didn't go back. And so it was so funny because I wanted to get a job at a coffee shop and I was like, well, you know what? I guess I'll just apply at Starbucks. Got the job almost immediately. I was there, I wasn't there for too long. I was there for like maybe like 10 months or so. I really liked it, but something bigger and better came along. But I, I loved my manager. We had such a great time. She was the one, my manager at Starbucks was the one who taught me how to properly make that mocha. And she's right. And um, I have to admit, like, I'm not, I think it was maybe two months later, I decided to go to the coffee shop, the, the first one, and see what was going on. I'm not kidding you. Gone. Completely closed up. There was a big four leaf. The help wanted sign was replaced with a four leaf sign. And I couldn't help but think, I wonder why. So anyways, that's my, that's my coffee shop interview story. Miss Skyler has been down here at my feet the whole time. She likes to get anything and like the ice, anything that falls down to the ground, she's on it. So, but it is getting a little bit later and it's almost time to go pick up Caleb. So I think I'm gonna get going. And it is the next day. Yeah, the night totally got away from us yesterday. Uh, I went and picked up Caleb, we went to our shopping, and then we just had our night together. Um, but now it is afternoon. I've already picked up Caleb from school, and today was his last full day of school. It's technically not his last day of school because we've got the graduation and the performance tomorrow, but um, it was his last like day of school. But it was also his last full day, so here we are. It is around 3.30 in the afternoon. He, he's, he's basically it's on summer vacation right now. So he is just chilling in front of the TV. He's watching Super Kitties right now. Um, but I am figuring out what we're gonna do for dinner. It is an end of an era because if you've been watching us for a while, you know we've been doing uh, this meal kit, uh, the Martha and Marley Spoon. Although it looks like they're distancing Mar Martha from it because now it's just called Marley Spoon, I've noticed. We got this in March of 2020. So right when the pandemic started because I was freaked out because I went to Target and our grocery store and nobody had any food. And so our friends were like, get a meal subscription service. We have one, we haven't had any interruptions. So we started that. We've been doing this for four years, but I think it's time to call it quits because lately their website has just become so complicated and the menu items have become really kind of like, eh, not really our style. I feel like it used to be like classic comfort foods, like something for like the whole family could enjoy. And now, I don't know, it's very like, exotic and very Mediterranean, and that's just not my vibe. Of course, I say that. It looks like our last menu is going to be, basically, it's spaghetti. It's uh, Italian sausage ragu pasta, and I told Caleb, and he was excited because he is a spaghetti kid, so I think I'm gonna get started on that. I am well underway on tonight's dinner. Again, this was the Italian sausage ragu pasta. Um, and this was quite interesting because they had me make it with um, cherry tomatoes and I get it. I know how a meal kit works. Basically, you know, the company like has a pantry of food and they've got to come up with different recipes to use those same items. But I thought it was interesting using cherry tomatoes. So I kind of went in and broke them up. 
Um, and then there's some red bell pepper in this as well, which I know Caleb is gonna love. He's already picked a few out himself. Um, but yeah, this is kind of an interesting spaghetti recipe, especially because when it's all done, um, you can put little clusters of ricotta on there and um, sprinkle it, or drizzle it rather, with some olive oil. That's gonna be, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Funny little development. So last January, we were um, going, we went to a wedding and we got Caleb this really cute little suit. It had a vest, a tie and everything. And um, by the way, I got some footage there. It was hilarious because little man and the, made a friend there and the two of them were just going nuts on the dance floor. I was cracking up so much with this footage and I never put it in a vlog just because it never came up. But I did scout out the kids' parents. I was like, hey, I have a YouTube channel and I've been filming our kid and your little boy's in there. They started cracking up. They gave me permission. They're like, absolutely, feel free to use it. So, but yeah, as you can see, Caleb made a friend and the two of them, everybody was like dining at that time, like dinner was being served. But the two of them were just like going nuts on the dance floor. It was so funny. But last year for the graduation events at school, Caleb wore that suit. I just had him try it on again. It still fits. So I think he's gonna wear that tomorrow. All right, Caleb's got a little project going on over here. He wanted to work with some glue, so. Now it's all right. stuck on the... Uh, well, we'll fix it in a second, okay? Because. Yeah, go <laughs> wash your hands. <laughs> Well, well, he's very frustratingly washing his hands. I got dinner on the table, so here it is. Like I said, I didn't give him any ricotta and olive oil. He didn't want, he wouldn't want that, so. But it turned out pretty good. So plating mine, I kept trying to fix it and swirl it, so I wound up, I've got like, like three portions here. But I put the ricotta on and drizzled it with some of the olive oil. It is so good, this is delicious. So, you know, next time I make spaghetti and like Steve's here, I'm gonna try it with this ricotta and the drizzled olive oil. Oh man, that just adds something. It's really good. Do you like it? You know, yeah. yeah. You know, in, in Spickable Me, it was a girl, <laughs> it rolled it into a big one. Oh yeah. And I don't know why she did that. She had a huge bite? Because maybe, she, maybe she's big. <laughs> with a big mouth and go like, Oh my. Bad. All right, it is the big day. What's today? I don't know. <laughs> it's your last day of school. Is it it's Thursday. We're going to make our bagel? Yeah. All right, we are ready. We had kind of a crazy morning, but look at this dude. Hey, let's not put our feet on the walls, okay? Can everyone see your hair? Looks pretty spiffy, right? Well, yeah, I can do it. I can hop on my foot. Whoa, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, he's a bundle of energy right now, but we gotta get going. Let's go out front right now and take some photos and then we're gonna go, okay? <laughs> and just like that, I have a first grader on my hands. Caleb's graduation ceremony was very, very cute. The kids did a great job. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I felt like it was like over before it even started. So it was just a quick little thing. Um, afterwards, we got some pictures with the teacher. Caleb got some pictures with his friends. And man, it is summertime now. I apologize because I know this vlog has been kind of the vlog. It's like jumping around all over the place. But it's just been, I feel like it's just been like, go, 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 go. But so now we are home. I let Caleb change clothes to get in something a little bit more comfortable. We're actually going to run to Target right now because, I think I mentioned this already, the game he's been dying to have dropped today and he had a great year. It's a graduation celebration. Let's do it. Perfect timing because we got the drive to California tomorrow, so it's going to keep him entertained, keep him busy. Um, but yeah, summertime's here. How excited are you? Good. What'd you I'm just so get? I'm excited. What'd you just get? Well, he just got me this. That's so cool, right? It's a Mario. Oh, I know. Yeah. What, what is it? Can you show everybody? Oh, it's a Super Mario character patch. That's pretty cool. No, I all right, we got one happy kid here. Look at it, look at you can, it's all paper, paper, paper Mario. And look at the battle begins in the theater. Oh. And look at you can, and you get in the paper airplane, it gets bigger to a paper airplane, and you can make it into a boat. Very cool. Can we see the front of it? What's it look like? Paper Mario! Oh. Down the door! 
<laughs> All right, so we got the game, and it was actually pretty interesting. So um, when we wa walked in there, there was like Nintendo representatives like getting the layout ready to go, and so they hadn't actually put the game out um, until like they hadn't done it yet. So they had to go in the back to go get it for us. But yeah, it was pretty cool because then the guy gave little man a little Super Mario patch. So pretty cool. But yeah, opening day. And with that, I think we are gonna end this vlog here because we've got so much to do. Steve will actually be home in just a couple hours, but I still gotta get the laundry going and get everything ready for tomorrow's trip. I am very, very excited. But as you saw, it has been a fun few days. You guys, thank you for hanging out with me. This was actually a lot of fun filming and vlogging over these past couple days while Steve has been away on work travel. Super disappointing that he wasn't able to be here for Caleb's last day. He did see the graduation last year, so it was a, it was okay on that front. But also, that's why I'm glad I filmed all this. Obviously, I filmed the whole thing, but I can't share it, right? Because it's other kids. You know, we have to have some privacy. We're putting our lives on the internet, not everybody else's. Um, but at least when C gets home, he gets to watch it and see it then. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And tomorrow, as you know, we wake up and head right to California. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy.